Hello everyone, welcome to General Sciences Biology Module 18. Today's tutorial is on fungi. I am Ritrisha from GK Today and I'll be taking you through this. What are fungi? Fungi are among the most primitive members of the plant kingdom. Their study is called mycology. They are non-chlorophyllous, nucleated, non-vascular, thallophytic microorganisms. A common question asked in exams is, uh, why can't fungi create their own food? And the answer is, because they don't have chlorophyll. Fungi are among the thallophytes or plants with a thallus, which are very simple plants. They have no roots, stems, flowers or seeds, which are structures we are used to associating with plants. Thallus of a fungus is usually made of branching threads called hyphae. What are the different types of fungi? On the basis of nourishment, the fungi are of three types. Saprophytes, these are fungi which obtain their food or do nutrition from decayed, moist leaves, moist dead wood or some other useless rotten residues or organic substances. Examples would be rhizopus, penicillin, etc. Parasites, the fungi which obtain their food by taking or sharing the food of any other organism. Example is Ustilago, Puccinia, etc. And then there are symbiotic fungi which coexist with other plants and facilitate water and mineral salt and plants prepare food for them. The microbe lichen is the best example of symbiotic fungi. Benefits of fungi One benefit is uh, found during soil formation and increasing soil fertility. So the fungi decompose moist residues of leaves, dead wood, animal dung and other rotten organic substances into another which act like manures and use and uh, fertilize the soil. Then there is nitrogen fixation. Fungi like Rhodoturula do the process of nitrogen fixation due to which fertility of the soil is enhanced. In food preparation, fungi are used, uh, for example, uh, agaricus and morshella are used in forms of vegetables. These are mushrooms. Asparagus, penicillin, etc. are used in the cheese industry. Yeast, like Saccharomyces cerevisiae, is used in making a bread dough. Wines, beers, etc. are also prepared by fermentation of yeasts. In medicines, fungi are used to make various types of antibiotics which are utilized in making medicines like chloromycetin, neomycin, streptomycin, teramycin, etc. In the chemical industry, they are used uh, in various types of acids and chemical substances. Aspergillus gallomyces and Pencillium glaucum are used in gallic acid. Similarly, gluconic acid and fumaric acid are prepared by the fungi Asparagus niger and Rhizopus nigricans. What are the benefits of fungi? Again, continuing, in enzymes and vitamins, fungi and some yeast, various types of enzymes are prepared using them. Uh, enzymes amylase is prepared from Asparagus oryzae. Similarly, invertis is prepared by yeasts. Various vitamins like vitamin B is prepared from streptomyces gracis. In mycormediation. So, bioremediation means, uh, bioremediation is the process of reclaiming ecosystems uh, using uh, certain bioorganisms. So, when this is done by fungi, it's called mycormediation. Uh, so, fungi has been shown to biomineralize uranium oxides, suggesting that they may have application in uh, cleaning out polluted radioactive sites. Some fungi are hyperaccumulators capable of absorbing and concentrating heavy metals in the mushroom fruit bodies. What are some other benefits? In pest control, Buveria bassiana, Metarhysiums spp, Hirsutella spp, Pacillomyces spp and uh, Lichenicillium lichenae have been used in pest control. 
One gene, one enzyme hypothesis was formulated by scientists who used the bread mold Neurospora crassa to test their biochemical theories. Aspergillus nidulans and the E's, Saccharomyces cerevisiae and Schizosaccharomyces pombe have a long history of use to investigate issues in eukaryotic cell biology and genetics such as cell cycle regulation, chromatin structure and gene regulation. What are some common fungal diseases? So, uh, a few common fungal diseases are what disease of potato, late blight of potato, green ear disease of bajra, rust of wheat, loose mud of wheat, ticka disease of groundnut, red hot of sugarcane, brown leaf spot of rice, ergot disease of rye, powdery mildew of wheat. There are a lot more, but these are the ones we've mentioned here and it's preferable you take a screenshot of this to uh, revise later. What are lichens? So lichens are symbiotic associations of fungi and algae. So it's a, a symbiotic uh, fungi. The fungi called mycobion facilitate water, minerals, vitamins, etc. to the algae. And algae called phycobion prepare carbohydrates by the process of photosynthesis and supply the food to fungi. Study of lichens is called lichenology. Lichens are most commonly found on trees. They are useful and by the help of these, various ecological activities can be observed. They are capable of indicating air pollution, water pollution, heavy metals as well as radioactive particles. Uh, lichens like reindeer mosses, Iceland moss etc. are utilized as food. Common animal and human fungal disease include athlete's food, scabies, scabies, ringworm, meningitis, asthma, baldness, aspergillosis. So that's all for the fungi tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel GK Today. Until the next tutorial, goodbye.